Hello everyone! Thank you very much for watching today. Today's Wednesday, August 17th, and today I have a very important question that you have to ask yourself today. And the question is this, is what is it about, say this to yourself, what is it about my skill sets in real estate and communication that is holding me back and preventing me from succeeding and getting to my goals and everything I desire. So again, what is it about my skill sets that is preventing me from getting to where I want to be? So if you're not where you want to be in real estate sales, now of course this is the new agents, brand new, we're very new to real estate. It takes some time. But to all of the agents, or you get, if you're new, remind yourself of this when you get to a year, two years, three years into the business, and you're not at your level you want to be. But definitely to the agents that are not at their level, what is it about your skill sets that is preventing you? And if you're not there, are, who or what are you blaming? for not getting to where you want to be because it's just human nature for us to displace blame sometimes because sometimes we don't want to look with inside of us we want to place blame you know we want to blame uh the market the the leads uh the time you want to blame uh the when you have deals you want to blame multiple offers you want to blame the other agents not communicating you want to blame the appraisal you want to blame the lender, you want to blame the title company for not being able to transfer something. You want to blame your kids, your spouse, your time. The your uh, you don't have enough time in the 24 hours in a day to get everything you need done. Uh, you blame the market. You blame the uh, interest rates. You blame whatever. There might be something or a combination of those things or all of those things because some of the things that were just railing off the top of my head are the things that I hear on a daily basis from agents. I can't believe this agent didn't take my offer. I can't believe this appraisal came in low. I can't believe this title company can't close this. I can't believe this inspector killed my deal. I can't believe that these online leads, no one's calling me back. I can't believe uh, all of the kind of things. I hear that every day, not from the same agent, but from different agents on that. And I try to remind agents that when is it going to be the point that you're going to look with inside yourself and you go, I have to become more. I've got to practice and I've got to do more and I've got to uh, not be passive. So many agents sit back and watch. They watch, they learn, uh, they wait. They watch what other agents are doing. They try to learn. They take classes. They're watching videos. They're uh, learning the process and how to better their business. And they're waiting for things to come to them. And a lot of it sometimes is passive marketing. Like, well, I sent out an email campaign waiting for people to call me back. I sent out a mailer waiting for people to call back. I invested in online leads waiting for people to call me. Uh, I left a lot of messages for people today uh, in my sphere of influence waiting for people to call me back. And just waiting. If most of your day is waiting, and this is part of my video from the other day, this is a contact sport. Keep going until you contact somebody. So you've got to get to the point where you got to look inside yourself and say, this is my skill set. Because I see it. There could be two agents with 100 phone calls to make. And one of the agents is going to be more successful at turning 100 phone calls into potential clients someday, clients today, uh, people uh, turning them into people that might not be looking today but refer them to other people if you get two agents side by side in two rooms making a hundred phone calls one 
is going to be more successful because of their skill set. Their skill set in talking, with communicating, with building relationships, with relating to who they're talking to. And that's a skill that you can learn and master. And, and, uh, and any agent getting into this business, I haven't met anybody yet. I've, I've met thousands and thousands of realtors has gotten to this business thinking that they're not going to talk to people and I don't want to communicate with people. I don't want to deal with people. I don't want to build relationships. I don't want to help. Uh, I've never met that because you already know when you start into real estate, this is a sales business and you're selling yourself. And you even got to sell. Even the, the uh, agents that think, well, I'm just going to sell the people that I know and people, friends, relatives, all of that. You still got to sell them and why they should use you because this is a very important decision of theirs. So you still got to sell them on why they should use you. Even though you're, it's your brother-in-law, your sister-in-law, your cousin, even your mom or dad. I have agents that I have to help them with a listing presentation and help them get business from their direct family that they don't have that kind of communication skill yet to show even their closest family, that they're the right person for the job. But the point I'm getting at is that you can learn that skill. You can get that skill. It's practice. It's learning different techniques and what works best for you and scripts and dialogues. It's all there. It can be learned. So today I just wanted to remind you to Work every day on your skills. Practice, look for scripts, make them your own on what you're going to say to people and what you're going to do and how you're going to reach out to them. I'm concentrating today in this video just more about your skills. Again, again, in other videos I went through, there's different ways of organizing yourself, following up with people, building your database, all of that. That's separate. I'm talking about your skill. If you were getting on a phone right now talking to somebody, and what are you going to say? What are you going to say? And you have to have that down pat. you got to work on that basic skill of communication, building trust. And it's not just what you say, it's how you say it. And how you, your inflection, if that's the right word I'm looking for, how sincere you are, how um, uh, the way you perceive yourself as being confident that you know within yourself that you're the best person for the job and do they see it in yourself they see it in the way you're talk and the way you're communicating the way you're explaining yourself and what you do to help them so it's all encompassing of what you say how you say it and the manner that you deliver that message to those people that you're communicating and trying to build a relationship so hope that helps a little bit gives you some things to think about because it can be learned Anybody watching this, any agent out there can be a top producing agent. You can get to the level you want to be at. No one is at a disadvantage. It's just some people practice, get their skill set, and to those agents that are successful, I've said this many times, the business is not getting easier for them. It's not. They're just getting better at what they do. You know, better at what they say and better at everything I just mentioned to you. They're just getting better at it than where you are. That's it. They're not, it's not getting, the business is the same. They have the same type of buyers, the same type of sellers, the same type of cold calling, the same type of prospecting, the same, they have the same of everything. They don't have a magic wand. They're just more skilled and you could get that to that level. You can you can do it. So that's it for today. Have a great Wednesday. Remember, use me as a resource. Call, text, email me anytime you want to go over this or any of my other videos one-on-one. -on -one. I'm happy to put that time in if, if you want to set that aside for me too. So that's it. Have a great day, and we'll see you tomorrow at noon. Bye-bye.